Hey guys, so this week I've been playing Dead Space 2. Uh, I've been playing it on the, the PS3, but it's also out on the 360 and the PC as well. Uh, it, it, and it's an action horror game, Dead Space 2. It's all about strategic dismemberment, where instead of like using like rifles and shotguns to blow away your enemies, you use like sort of you know, tools, you know, you use like laser saws and stuff like that to sort of cut their limbs off and, and that's how you stop them. Well, is it any good? Is running around this future space thing as Isaac Clarke, you know, cutting dudes to pieces fun? Or is it kind of this weird sort of sadistic, gross thing? Well, here's my opinion of Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 takes place a few years after the events of the original Dead Space. Having survived the events of the original game, Isaac Clarke wakes to find himself in the Nut House, in the midst of another chaotic necromorph invasion. Unarmed and with no idea what's happening, Isaac has to unravel the mystery of what happened to him in the past two years and basically try and survive again. One of the biggest changes in his life in the past few years is that he suddenly learned how to talk. No longer is he the mute protagonist who just silently walks through the hallways killing necromorphs. Now he's a character, with a voice actor and everything. Giving Isaac an identity and a voice really affects the narrative of the game. Instead of putting yourself in Isaac's shoes and developing these relationships yourself, you actually watch Isaac interact with other people, which is different. Not better, not worse, just different. But it does help to remove the, the idea from the first game that Isaac is this mute psychopath that has no problem cutting people to shreds and it just doesn't affect him. Apart from some small story tweaks, the game is essentially unchanged from the original. Isaac must walk down a series of corridors and dismember all the necromorphs in new and interesting and grotesque ways. This being a sequel, there are plenty of new ways to dismember and dispel all the enemies you come across. And of course, there's a ton of new and interesting necromorphs to fight, all of which require varied limbs you have to cut off in order to stop them. This game does what all good sequels should do. It takes the concept from the original that made it so good and enriches it with all these new tidbits. And the end result is a game that's better than its predecessor, which, at the end of the day, is what good sequels are. One thing this sequel doesn't shy away from is the violence. Like all the other gameplay elements, the violence has definitely been ramped up. It tries very hard to skirt the line between entertaining violence and just disturbing violence. So much so that some countries have even censored the game. There are just quite a number of moments in this game that are meant to disturb you. You're supposed to play through the game and think to yourself, Oh my god, no, I, I don't want to, can I skip this part? And the game's like, no, you can't skip this part, you gotta do it. Violence, haha, -ha, scary. I mean, Dead Space 2 is so violent, my mom hates it. <laughs> uh, that wasn't even funny. This guy's such a loser. Oh, yeah. Alongside the disturbing single-player campaign, they added multiplayer. The multiplayer is similar to a game like Singularity or Natural Selection, in that it's humans versus the mutants. The humans have an objective that they're trying to complete, power up some space shuttle to escape or whatever they're trying to do, and the mutants are basically trying to stop them. And like every other multiplayer shooter these days, there's experience points you earn and classes and upgrades and all that stuff to keep you playing. Overall, Dead Space 2 is, is a really great ride. It, it plays more like an action game than a horror game, but it has some really great horror elements. It, it, I mean, it just oozes atmosphere. I mean, walking through the corridors and, and you're just scared. You can hear noises and you're like, something's coming. I know something's coming, but when's it going to come? It's going to jump out at me. And for the most part, the things that jump out at you aren't the bad guys. The, the most, like, the startling scares are, are mostly just not scared. It's like, Wah! oh, it was just a TV. But... Um, it's fun. There's, there's a lot of action-y elements, uh, you know, you get through the combat works really well. It's very strategic. Uh, the New Game Plus thing adds a lot of replay value, and the multiplayer is a ton of fun. So if you're looking for a sort of action title with a little bit of horror in it, it's, it's actually a really great buy. I would totally suggest you go check that out. 